Here's an overview of my 2011 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Um, just wanted to show some of the stuff I've added to it, some of the features it's got on it. So I guess we'll just start up front. Um, I've got a Go Rhino 5038 push bumper with um, HD wraps. I had to buy those brand new. Um, not many of the departments up here in Ohio use them. I've only ever seen, I think, one sheriff car with them. Couldn't find them anywhere used. I could find just the headlight portion, but not the HD wraps. Um, the difference is this little part on the bottom comes around the bumper. Um, but I really like them, like the look of them, so I had to have them I bought them brand new. Um, dual Whelan 100 watt speakers connected to a Whelan Syncom Gold. I'll show that in a second. Uh, dual spotlights. I installed this one myself. Um, I probably could have cut the uh, slit in the door a little bit better, but. It works. Um, these lights up front, I don't know what these are. These are Tomar something. I really don't know. I just know that they're Tomar. You know, a little bit of condensation in that one. Uh, LED headlights and new headlight housings. Um, those came with the car. Uh, I guess I should specify a lot of this stuff I added to the car. I didn't get it like this. I added the lights up front, the speakers, um, push bumper with the wraps. Uh, one thing I'll just state right now, I did not put in the vertexes, which are in the corner lights. I, I actually did put in the passenger one because I had to replace it, but there's wheel and vertexes in the corner lights and the reverse and brake lights. Um, up here we got mirror beams, wheel and mirror beams green with the 500 series modules. Um, both of these are Unity Spotlights. That's the older version. This one is the newer one. You can kind of see the difference the way they're shaped. Um, visor light, uh, I'm sorry, not visor light, dash light, um, X-Bright, it's an Amazon brand. Would like to have a uh, Wheel and Avenger in green, but those are really hard to find, so I wanted a green dash light to match uh, these mirror beams. Um, one thing you'll notice is the uh, dent here in the um, fender and door. The guy I bought it from gave me a really good deal on this, I won't say how much, but... Um, really good deal on this car because uh, the money he was getting from insurance with this dent um, with the accident that he was in so I managed to pop it out a little bit this entire thing was all pushed in uh, you can see the difference with the um, door and the fender managed to pop it back out a little bit and at the same time managed to put a dent right there as I laid it on the ground uh, I'm not sure what to do about the door, though. I'll probably live with it, because uh, I don't really want to have to replace the whole door. These black uh, door moldings I got off of a 92 Crown Vic that I have. Uh, the silver ones were originally on here, and it had broken about right there. So I just took them off and replaced them with the uh, black one, because I think it looks gives it a little bit more of an accent. Looks pretty cool. Dog. Um show some other stuff. Uh, GPS puck attaches to an NMO mount. Uh, it's just dummy. I just have it covering up the uh, NMO mount that's there. Uh, browting CB antenna. Cobweb. All, also attaching an NMO mount. Uh, you can see these little scratches in the paint. I did that attempting to take off the uh, GPS puck that they had like glued. There was this like sticky rubber adhesive pad that I could barely get off. Um, flex fuel, obviously, since it is a 2011. 2011 being the last year that they uh, produce the Crown Victoria. Um, I think that's about it for the exterior. Uh, traffic advisor, also x bright Would like to replace it with a wheel and inner edge at some point. I'll show off some of the stuff in the interior. So. Obviously, police center console. Not sure. Dog. Not sure what brand it is. Um, it's not like Havis or anything like that. But uh, have a Wheel and Syncom Gold hooked up. Only the air horn is activated right now. I'd like to get the lights hooked up to this slide switch. But um, I just have them on this switch right here. This one controls this little red map light. Cobra 29 LTD classic CB radio.
uh, dash cam, also digital, digital, bleh, can't talk today, digital patroller, um, it only turns on when the ignition is on, so I'll get that going, sticker, warning, use overdrive during high speed pursuit, I added that, um, this sticker was already here, but I added a new one because it was all tore up, uh, if you notice, the interior is tan, but the dash is like brown, and so the steering wheel is like gray. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, like the dash was damaged and they had to replace it, because it looks like this dash was black, and they attempted to paint it tan, paint it tan, and that just didn't work out. Didn't the color didn't match? So I'm not really sure. But uh, one thing I do love about this car is the tan interior, and um, it being silver. You know, a lot of these you find are either black or white or black and white and the interior is usually black but um i really want a tan interior i'm glad i was able to find one um and it also being silver is really cool but um you can see the dash cams powering on also have the syncom hooked up to my marker light so you can see it kind of it lights up at night uh, i'll show off the lights here in a second once this dash cam comes on uh, Pioneer, aftermarket radio, you know, nothing special. I just have this dash cam on these um, suction cup mounts that I've found and modified a little bit to hold them, the camera and the monitor, because I wasn't able to find the actual mounts that come with the camera. Uh... These are all, these switches, this one controls the wigwags, it does have a headlight flasher. Um, not sure what's wrong with it though, because sometimes the passenger side headlight will not flash, and then just the driver side headlight flashes, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. But the rest of these switches don't do anything, I'm not using them right now, all the lights are hooked up to that one. But there you can see the uh, dash cam. Put my hand in front of it, here it is. Uh... Something's, it's kind of frozen, I think. It just kind of shows me the logo. I'm supposed to be able to press the uh, menu button and record. It's supposed to say record up in the top right corner. It's not doing that right now. But uh, I just got this dash cam working after a long time of getting all the parts I needed for it. So I'm glad that it's turning on and showing me footage at least. But uh, show off the lights here. Now, I'll note these lights aren't synced. You can sync them with a sync wire. I don't have the lights synced right now. Um, the You can see they kind of all flash at just their own pace. And the vertexes up front flash together. Uh, this x dash light, a lot of people make fun of uh, Amazon lights. And admittedly, they are cheap and <clears throat> usually not that good. But x is the best cheap brand. Now, that's not saying much, but it's the best cheap brand you can get. And I mean, as you can see, it's pretty bright. I'll go to the side so I'm not just standing in front of it. I mean, it's every bit as bright as these uh, mirror beams. Um, the lenses on the mirror beams do need to be cleaned, though, so. But I'll go around back, show the lights off a bit. You can also tell there's some dings and scratches and stuff all over it. Um, the real reason that I purchased this car, well, other than the fact that I wanted a CVPI, was. Uh, I had a black one before this and it just wasn't very good, so I wanted a new one, and uh, this one was just such a deal. I'm, it's completely rust free, there's absolutely no rust on this at all, uh, except for like one spot over on the rear fender over here, but underneath it is clean. Uh, traffic advisor, vertexes, just got those um, to sync, as you can see. So, it is evening here, so it's kind of biased that I'm showing it in the, uh, you know, fading light, that the uh, cheaper lights are fairly bright, but um, even in the daytime you can see them, I might post a video at some point of uh, what they look like, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I um, guess maybe I should also show off the trunk. Might have to press the key fob. Nope. Full size spare. Also got this out of a 92 Crown Vic that I have, this tire cover thing. Uh, toolbox. 
police trunk pack, pick that up, um, car cleaning stuff, paper towel, spare battery, muck boots, jumper cable, nothing to see. Here's the uh, actual recording unit for the uh, dash cam. This might be the thing I have to replace if my dash cam is actually uh, frozen, where it records footage, but um, you saw the logo in the left side of the screen, it won't let me, you know, hit record or go to the menu or switch through any of the features, so something's wrong with it. I'll just have to figure out what it is, might have to replace that. Um, some reflective tape as well, you know, just in case I have the trunk open, and I'm on the side of the road somewhere. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, can't really think of any other features right now. Like I said, um, this car came with pretty much nothing. I added all of the emergency equipment to it, push bar, you know, antennas, dash cam, everything. Uh, I guess another little thing, it also has keyless entry. Um, well, I guess not keyless entry, but, uh, it's got a key fob, which isn't very common on these. You usually have the fleet key where you have to use just the key to unlock everything, but, um, it's even got this little black, you know, plastic thing on it. It came with the unit number. I was told this was an FBI of Maryland vehicle. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe it patrolled, you know one of their offices or something like that, or around in a facility, because uh, when it's humid out, um, not so much now in the fall, but you can see the uh, imprint of 911 on the trunk, and there are holes right above the uh, door jams on the top, uh, where the rear door and the front door meet, um, where they had a light bar mounted to it. And there's two rubber pieces that you saw up top on the roof, not the uh, magnetic puck. I'm sorry, the NMO mounted puck, but those were holes for the uh, light bar. But uh, yeah, I really don't plan on doing anything else to this car. I have everything on it I really want. Um, would probably like to get LED headlights. No, no, I'm sorry, LED spotlights. Would like to replace that fender completely. Like I said, probably going to live at the door because... Replacing a door is going to be really annoying, and, you know, I'd have to take the mirror beam off and everything, and it'd just be a hassle. I don't plan on replacing the fender anytime soon, but when the day comes, I'll probably just leave the door for as long as I have this car. I um, have to get a new windshield, too, because it has a crack in it, if you didn't notice. That was my doing. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I might try and upload more videos about it, or doing stuff to it. Just depends, I suppose. But, uh, yep, this is my 2011 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor.